More on Farrah Fawcett from our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Uh, we're just learning now it's anal cancer. It's a, I, I'm not even sure I've ever heard of that before. Right, and with good reason. It's pretty rare. It's uncommon. There are only about just over 5,000 cases diagnosed in the country wow. every year and just over 700 deaths. Mm -hmm. So for cancer deaths, that's a low number. For the right. people whose lives have been destroyed by anal cancer, right. that's a big number. Yeah, a treatable um, it is treatable, and obviously with any type of cancer, the earlier it's detected, the best chance for treatment and potentially a cure. I think from, from all indicated reports, her cancer was caught at a relatively later stage. Mm -hmm. Now we've heard these stories about her going to Germany to seek alternative treatments. What, do we know anything about that? Uh, they weren't as fringe um, as oh. they were made to appear. Mm -hmm. They were chemotherapy injected into tumors for all indicator reports. And people need to understand every day we're learning more and more about new ways to treat cancer. Mm -hmm. And every day people are fighting as hard as they can to live with the disease. Right. And last but not least, there are also stories that this may have spread to her liver. If that's the case, what does that mean? Anytime cancer spreads, Harry, to liver, brain, bones, lungs, that's not a good sign. All right, Dr. Ashton, as always, we thank you for your help this morning.